a deep study of treatises like Natya Shastra, Hastalakshana Deepika, and Balram Bharatam led her to develop her own style of Mohini Atam that she presents at Kala Arpan. Mumbai se Padma Bhushan Dr. Kanak Rele ji ne Mohini Attam ki punaruddhar aur uske prasar mein mahatvapurn bhoomika nibhai hai. Aapne Mumbai Vishwavidhyalai mein Lalit Kala Vibhaag ki shuruat mein mahatvapurn bhoomika nibhai aur iske dean ke roop mein bhi kaam kiya. Aapne Bharat Sarkar ke Sanskritik Vibhaag mein nritya ke visheshagya aur salakar ke roop mein bhi sewa di hai. Natya Shastra, Hastalakshan Deepika, और बलराम भारतम जैसे ग्रंथों के गहन अध्ययन ने आपको मोहिनी अट्टम की अपनी शैली विकसित करने के लिए प्रेरित किया प्रस्तुत है सुंदर मोहिनी अट्टम प्रस्तुति पद्म भूषण डॉक्टर कनक रेले जी द्वारा नमस्कार टुडे आई इनवाइट यू टू जॉइन मी इन वन ऑफ द आइटम्स व्हिच आई लव द मोस्ट आई क्रिएटेड इट मेनी इयर्स अगो कुब्जा Let me just share with you <clears throat> the thought process which impelled me to choreograph this item. I live in Mumbai, and uh, decades ago, three decades ago, or maybe two two decades ago, I think two and a half decades ago, we had a scandal here, and that was the Jalgaon sex scandal. Young girls had been lured by young men. in high positions sons of very influential and strong parents and they had lured these girls with one doesn't know what promises some people said that they were promised to get roles in films some people said that the poor girls were lured by financial benefits and they were needless to say they were sexually exploited their lives were ruined they came from the small little towns of maharashtra and uh, we all read what was happening and our blood was boiling over we all knew i mean there was big talk there was big talk and these boys will be punished they will have to pay for the sins that they have committed nothing of that sort we all knew deep down our souls nothing was going to happen they had very influential connections and they would be let off that's what had happened what about those girls those girls whose lives were ruined who went through trauma after trauma many of them were poor girls and this this angered me i am a dancer i am a choreographer how do i express myself because there were others who went out on the streets shouted slogans and tried to do things i'm just a dancer i thought i would pour out my soul through my dances and on this i hit upon one character kubja the the deformed devotee now kubja is what does she represent kubja represents in my mind the tortured soul of the indian woman kubja kubja you know it is it is a very beautiful poem written by nyanpeet awardi dr sita kant mahapatra a good friend of mine and uh, one day he said kanak this is a beautiful item i said sir i i came across this item but you have written it in in uh, your language i dance only mohini atam and that is in malayalam go ahead and you know you know kavalam narayan panikar i said yes of course he is a dear 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 friend of mine get him to write it sort of transfer the whole thing in malayalam dance it kanak dance it and with his blessings i i approached kavalam my very dear friend whom i miss very much and he cast it in beautiful malayalam and what does it say here i start with the kubja with the with the deformed dasi who is destined to serve the evil king kamsa who is kamsa in my mind kamsa as is this this world is full of kamsas that's why you see jalgaon sex scandal just now there is a sex scandal going on in maharashtra here in india and so this is kubja is the prototype 
she's the tortured woman, tortured womanhood of our country. And she says, but what does it happen? An Indian woman, in my opinion, never loses her faith. And here she cries out. These are uh, words written by Kavalam, uh, based on Sita Kant Mahapatra's original poem in Odia. And she says that Katu Nindunyan, Ganashyama Krishna, O Krishna, I am looking for you everywhere. Mathura Nagari Gil, Rajapatha Yudhi. In this Mathura Nagari, on the Rajapatha, I look for you, O Krishna, I look for you. And then she says that in, in, the, in the deepest of my souls, on the horizons of the soul, I see the beautiful Malamega, the black thunder clouds gathering. Thunder clouds, what do they put it? They tell us that rains are going to come and they are going to satiate our thirsting souls. The earth is thirsty. So she says that Manasi di Gantan Kade. I'm just seeing Malamega. And then, then in that, in that, that, that gathering of dark clouds, I see the eternal, eternal sufferings that we have been having. And then Varsha, years, mass, month, Nalikya, moments, Vinalikya. And I go on counting. I go on counting. When are you going to come, Krishna? Won't you come to me and render some succor to me? And then she says, she's just bitten up. She's just so sad. She says that I I don't have Kanaman India. I'm Nan Uru Sairandri. I don't have a husband. I'm just a serving wench. Here the the torches of womanhood are given. And you can relate it to those sex scandals. You can relate to just now there are scandals going on in our country. And, and she says that I am just a Sairandri. Sairandri is a serving wench. So she says that my entire life is Nishvala. It is useless life, just like an arid desert. And then she is so anguished, angry. She's angry with the world, angry with her fate, but also scared. And she says that I am that evil comes as Dasi. I am his Dasi. Here the challenge to me was I had to show a woman's way. But I could not show it in any evil manner. So I thought and thought and I have just shown it that her hand is grasped. And you know, she's trying to release it and she's sucked dry, sexually exploited. And then she says that, where, where is it Krishna? Look at my life. See what has happened to me. I'm waiting for you, oh Krishna. She loses hope. She doesn't know when, what will happen. And then that is when she hears his footsteps and he comes to her. And what does he do? She's stunned. Stunned to see him standing in front of her. And what does he say? Give me a little bit of chandana paste and do tilak on my uh, forehead. She says, Krishna, itpiri kalabam matra. You asked me only this much kalabam, chandana paste. She does the tilaka on his forehead. And that action liberates her soul. And she just, just gets his immanence. Krishna, Krishna. Krishna who goes beyond everything. Krishna who is eternal. Krishna who is today. Krishna who is eternal. And that immanence she experiences in her soul. The shackles of this world are broken. Shackles of her sorrow are broken. She is rendered free. A beautiful woman. Kubja was, was having a, a, a hump on her back. Now she becomes a very beautiful woman. And she emerges at his feet and he gave, gives her release. But this is what I have tried to show. You will ask me, why did you select Kubja? I'll tell you why. There in Kubja, I see the great hope that we Indian women always have in our souls. 
and it's very rightly said that hand that rocks the cradle rules the world and that is what I have done. That a woman in India, she's a woman, yes, she's used as a thing, thing to satiate the male cravings, sexual cravings, but eventually she's the great woman who later on becomes a mother. This is what I have tried to show. I think I have performed it all over the world, wherever it is. And in Europe, everywhere people came running, women especially came running to me and said, Oh, we are so proud that you had the, the courage, the guts to show this particular thing. And we, we really adored that uh, dance of yours. Well, I have poured my soul in it. When I dance it, I don't know in which world I am. But I know that I am an Indian woman and uh, I bow at the feet of my Lord Krishna.
With this, we end the second day of Kalarpan. See you all tomorrow. Till then, stay safe and shubhrat. इसी के साथ आज के दूसरे दिन के कार्यक्रम यहीं समाप्त होते हैं। हम कल फिर मिलेंगे कलारपन के तीसरे दिन की प्रस्तुतियों के साथ। तब तक के लिए शुभरात्रि, नमस्कार।